Today we're talking about uh, subtracting hands-on. The textbook calls it hands-on, but really what the directions are saying is we're going to use models to subtract. Now a problem in the textbook is 181 minus 63, and to figure that out, we're, uh, we're going to have to break up the tens and give it to the ones. Now, when we, use, uh, when we use base 10 blocks in the classroom, this is ultimately what it looks like. Uh, but when you draw it, it doesn't quite look the same. Uh, so when you see it on a test or you see it in a textbook, it's not quite the same, but this is what they look like generally. This big square is 100. Each, uh, each rod is 10 and each little cube is one. So you have a hundred plus ten, uh, eight tens and one to make 181. Now when we're subtracting, we have to take one of these tens and break it into ones to show how we're taking three from one. And that's the confusing part. That's the part I need students to be able to explain. So what we do is, in class, we take one of those tens, and notice how there's eight tens here, but seven tens here. That's because we've taken one of those tens and have put it uh, into the one's place. Now, being able to do this hands-on is really important because when you have to take 63 away, you have to take three ones, but you don't have three ones to take. So you have to take one of the tens and break it into ones in order to remove three of these ones. And if you do that, you now have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight ones, seven tens, and left with that same hundred. Now, we as adults have only been taught, or at least only remember, how to use the standard algorithm. So when we start working with our kiddos on uh, using this shortcut, it's important that we not only show them this way, but help them understand why we are taking this one, crossing it out, taking this eight and crossing that out, making the 8 a 7 because you have to take one of those 10s away in order to make them 1s so you can take 3 away. So when you have 11 1s you take 3 away you're going to end up with 8 1s. And now 7 10s taking away 6 of them you take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 away you're left with 110. And of course, that 1 100 is still there. So this is a shortcut that our, all of our students are going to get really, really good at doing. But before, they, uh, before they're asked to memorize and be fluent and be fast, I want to make sure they understand why this shortcut works. So now, while they're in third grade, I want to make sure that they have an opportunity to understand how this 10 breaks apart into ones to allow them to subtract that three. So as you go through the textbook, you're going to be asked to show how 181 minus 63 is equal but you're going to be asked to use models to subtract and draw the difference. So that's tricky because what they're asking you to do is to draw that 100, draw that 80, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and draw that 1 and realize that you have to break up this 10 and give it 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 to the ones. And once you've done that, you can now take six tens away, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and three ones. Uh, let's see, let's take that one, that one, and that one. 
And what are you left with? You're left with eight ones. One ten and one one hundred, which is a hundred plus ten plus eight, which is one hundred and eighteen. Now I know that's a lot of work. I know that's a lot of steps. And this should never be expected to be done on a test. This one hundred and eighty one minus sixty three taking 10 away and giving it to the ones place. That's the shortcut that's going to allow students to solve subtraction quickly on a test. But if you only teach them these steps, they're not going to understand completely why they're taking that 8 and making it a 7. So we want to make sure they can see that they're taking one away and giving it to the ones. So please have your students practice modeling each number, breaking the ten apart, and then subtracting the ones place and the tens place to get your answer 118. I know it's a lot of work, but it's going to be worth it in the long run if you take the time now.